Coming to you live from Southern California. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set and on the hill, James Paxton. What do we have on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Now it's the second baseman, Xander Bogarts. A wind of the pitch. That one down the line, Muncy. Throw not in time, and he's safe. Singing that was a close play, and it looks like they're considering challenging the safe call. Really close, Boog, and tough to tell in real time. We weren't sure, so you really can't blame them for wanting to take another look. Ladies, another have, look at it. Singer, you seeing enough the to change the call? Play. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out, and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it a paid off. Deal. They call it safe. It hurts so one out, nobody on. Now it's, it's, it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh and one. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Goes down looking. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Next to hit, Jake Cronenworth. That one catches the zone. Going one. Ball one there. Two out, space is empty. The lefty fires. Bows it off, still one and two. Paxton deals. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. It's the Padres nothing. Dodgers coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. And on the hill, you Darvish. How about a scouting report on him? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Now with the play, Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base slugging, too. Here comes a pitch. That's to third. Gets it to first. And Betts is set down. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Here's Shohei Otani. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay throw. The tag out. 
Absolutely oh, perfect execution of the relay right there. And coming hey. down in third. He probably should have shut it down at second base and been happy with the double, but it took a great play to get him. You just have to tip your cap. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. An acrobatic play to end the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Manny Machado. Paxton back to work. Up the middle, and that one handled. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to That's get on it. base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Just shy of the wall. Now batting jerks in profile. The switch hitter batting right. On the ground to third. Dives and he can't hang on. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Next for the Padres, Luis Campusano. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. It gets down. Base hit. Around third. He'll score and the Padres take the lead. 1-0. Waste no time there. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Back up the middle and a base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 2-0. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck score, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Next offering is downstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Would chase that time. Two on, one out. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Strikeout. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And here comes Xander Bogarts. He's over one. Slapped foul. Here comes the one. And that one is lifted in the air. Coming on is Taylor. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple. Bottom of the second and up to the plate is Will Smith. The right-hander back to work. Light drive. Balls it in and there's one away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove. But you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Muncie hits one in the air. Merrill pulls it down, and there's two down. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez, a former All-Star, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Two down, nobody on. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. The pitch. 
fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Rip towards third. Play made, that ends the inning. Dodgers go down quietly, and they're down 2-0. On to the third inning, and now the right fielder, Fernando Tatis Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Tatis waits. Check swing, no appeal, and it's one and one. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. Steps on He's first out. for the out. Jake Cronenworth will hit next. His first at bat was a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One out, base is empty. Next ball. pitch is downstairs. One ball, one strike. Comes hey. up empty. That's strike two. Good two late strike. sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Ground ball right side. Freeman He's takes down. it to the bag. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Manny Machado. Reached on an infield single his first time. Ah. And a swing and a miss. 0 oh, and 1. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. Two outs. And they'll do it again. And now the lefty. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Well, this One is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Zips it oh. to first, and that will end the inning. One hit. Back here at Chavez Ravine, and here is James Outman. Darvish back to work. Now a screamer into the outfield. Squeezes it, and there's one away. Chris Taylor down. And there's a strike, Darvish. Multi-time All-Star. He features a sinker, a slur, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Whips it to right. first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So they go quietly there. Three innings complete. It's the Padres 2. 
Back here at Dodger Stadium, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jerickson Profar. And there's a foul ball. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim oh, Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Ball one. Just missed. It's a good take. On the ground to third. Muncie sends it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. And here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Inside just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. The wind of the pitch. And that one in the air center field. Outman sizes this one up. Makes the grab. And there's two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Now batting Tyler Wade. That nope. one missed. Ball one, no strike. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Nope. There's the strike at the knees. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Mookie now. The line to kick the pitch. Pulls that one foul. Well, you always have to be careful in these spots because Mookie is lethal in the leadoff spot. He has the most multi-home run games out of the leadoff spot in baseball history. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Lifted in the air out to left. Profar under it. One up, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Boots it. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's over one. Right side. Hard hit. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Here in L.A., here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Right through there for a strike. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. That one the other way. And there's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0 2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone, keep that leadoff man off first base. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. 
throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're being aggressive at the plate, but still finding ways to pick their spots without falling into the habit of being over-aggressive. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging and connecting right out of the gates. Pulled the string and the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Stepping in, Jake Cronenworth. And yeah, there's two away. Here's Manny Machado. And Manny gets a piece. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing out there most of the time. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. At the belt and fires. One that's ball, down and in. Two strikes. First and second, two down. And we're at the top of the fifth. The one, two. Three. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. And we're back. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. The pitch. That oh. one a little bit high, and it's 1-0. Oh. You know, these Dodgers, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. And another thing that stands out specifically is that they haven't been able to lay off the first pitch. Nine first pitch outs in this game, so it's been costly for them. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. You know, being aggressive can be a little tricky. You want to have confidence up there, but sometimes hitters fall into the trap of being overconfident, thinking they can hit anything, and that can lead to a lot of mistakes. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt the momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Off the plate inside, 1 and 0. Pitch. And he takes one right on the black. And one and one. And another ball. The Dodgers trailing by two. Last half of inning number five. And a two one hammered but foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. 2-2. Two -two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. They get the out on Muncy, and there's one down. Now, got left and now Teoscar Teoscar Hernandez grounded out his first time. There's a strike. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. They'll throw to third. 
He's in there. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Puts it away for the out. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, it takes so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now it's Gavin Lux. Ball Whoa, one right low. Rips that one to right. And that ends the inning. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Digging in. Ha Sung Kim. Paxton back to work. And there's a ball. It appears Dave Roberts. Alex Vesia comes on now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. And there's one down. At the play. Jerks in pro far. Swing and all the bat went flying there. This is inside, and it's a ball to strike. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and fires. Out to short, bets. Over to first. Oh. He's out. Two outs. Base is empty. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. To the right side, Freeman. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they make short work. And welcome back to the. of the six and here is Mookie Betts and he deals this one high in the air to left center Profar makes the grab on the run Shohei Otani up to the dish one for two out there to center Merrill settles under this one and there's two away. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. That's hard hit in the line. Tatis makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium and now it's going to be Tyler Wade as the lefty gets to work that's in there that's strike one well on paper it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side same side he throws from and the pitch 
and he grounds one to the right side. No play, that's an infield single. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging ball. Merrill stands in now and watches strike one. This one lifted in the air, left field. Hernandez ranging after it. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One down. And here is Xander Bogarts. Ground ball right side could be two. Tosses to first. Bogarts retired. And the batter will be for... Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Daniel Hudson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And they're at the knees, 0-2. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Just nope. missed the inside corner, and the count, 1-2. One ball, two strikes, and now... And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Padres bottom of the seventh, and now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith, and here it comes. And that one fouled off. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys don't nibble just because they don't want to get hit. Anymore. That's not what we're seeing here. And a base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. I could watch. The left-hander on now, Tom Cosgrove. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And a pitch. Ground ball to do That's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. And now Teoscar Hernandez in the air right side. Tatis stands it on the run. To the plate, it's safe. And we are tied. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. Definitely a weird play right there, and it changes the outlook of the inning completely. Nice job by the defense to take advantage and get two outs out of it, but on the flip side, I have to think they're going to have some discussions and probably some lessons learned about the base running decisions that were made. Bogarts with the throw to first. What a... Back here in L.A., we go to the eighth, and now Jake Cronenworth, the pitch. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. Ball one there. And another ball. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. I just feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. 3-1 now. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself. One up, one down. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but... It needed to be made. That's helping your team. Whoa, right Machado, the next to hit, takes outside. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Ball next two. offering misses. Two and oh. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Hey. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. One down, base is empty. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Yeah, the righty deals. 
And a ground ball to first. Freeman oh. steps on the bag. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now the batter now, Ha Sung Kim. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on, and we're in the top of the eighth. Hey. And strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. One, two now. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. Bounce to third. A dive. Nice stop. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Well, that's cat. Back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into. the eighth Pedro Avila the wind of the pitch on the ground wait tosses to first oh. Taylor out of the play no he didn't recognize change up earlier enough got out in front a little bit rolled over on it and beat it into the ground swings and pulls it foul to the right side all tied up here the bottom half of the eighth inning There's a swing and a miss. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. The 0-2. And that one hit to first. He handles it himself. And that quickly, two away. So the batting order turns over. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mookie Betts. Swing and a slow roller. Wait, high throw to first, and he can't reach it. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. No problem fielding that one, and the transfer in there good. But man, he sailed it across the diamond and out of play. It looked like he just tried to put too much behind it. Cost him an extra base, too. Fall off foul. And it's second. Line drive, that's a base hit. Coming home. He will score the Dodgers have the lead. Three to two. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, known for his late inning heroics. Big stack center field. Lead runner around second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. But the RBI single pushes across a run. Last chance coming up for the Padres. We go to the ninth. Digging in is... Joe Kelly on the pitch out of the pen here. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So Aye. it's always high stress. Let's see what oh, he's got man. here. I'm going to try and close it out. Looking to get the tying run on base and fouled off. Ninety-nine miles 
per hour to finish him off. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And that's down and away. Trying to close out a one-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Into center. Makes the grab. Two down. Tyler Wade, the next up for the Padres. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. On the ground, and this should do it. Lux, throw to first, ball game. And the Dodgers hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come out the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. Oh, 